Hello guys and welcome to T3 Arena, the big huge family that is growing every single day. If you are watching this, you most likely just recently downloaded the game from Google Play or from the App Store and I'm gonna support you with sharing an FAQ with 50 questions and 50 answers. And by sticking around, you're gonna have a chance to win 165 T-Gems, which you can spend on a battle pass or a nice looking skin or whatever you need in the game. So let's get started. The game just arrived to Google Play and we are already in season three. Is that a disadvantage? No, not at all. You'll be able to catch up in no time as you're still one of the early players. Thousands of players are joining the game every day. How can I get new heroes? You can get some heroes from the Hall of Fame. In every season you can unlock one hero from the battle pass and every other hero you're gonna get from rumble boxes. Do all heroes have two ultimates? No. Why? There is no why, it's just like that and maybe it's gonna be changed in the future. How do I get the second ultimate? You need to reach level 7 and then it can drop from boxes and there's a newly introduced event called Ultimate Core Mission and by saving your team medals for 4 weeks you can exchange them for a second ultimate. How many key coins and power cores do I need to reach level 10 with a hero? You are going to need 3975 key coins and 1840 power cores plus the passive ability to max out the hero. I can't level up my hero as I'm missing power cores, what should I do? Your best shot is to open rumble boxes, which you can get from events, from season pass or you know you can just buy them. And the other way is to buy power cores from the store section, which are renewed on a daily basis. Is there a way to try the heroes you don't own? Yes, on the hero details screen, hit the try button and you can try that hero on the training ground. Which are the best heroes in the game? Well, it will constantly change, but at the moment I personally consider Hunter, Aletta, Ossas, Fort and the newly introduced Gatlin as S-tier heroes. If you want, you can check my latest uh, hero tier list, I'm gonna put a link into the description. How to quickly farm trophies? Free for all works fine, up to approximately 1000 trophies, as you're not really losing anything and you can get 12 trophies for winning a single game. Other game modes like Team Deathmatch and Crystal Assault could also work, but it can slow down your trophy grinding if you are on a losing streak. How much T-Gems do you need for a lucky draw skin? In order to complete all the 8 spins, you're gonna need 695 T-Gems. Is there a chance to get the lucky draw skin before the last spin? Yes, there is. I had it myself with my Aletta Dragon Breath skin. What can you do with glory points? You can spend them on skins, which you can buy in the store. And at the moment there are three different prices. 800, 3000 and 15000. Do skins give you any advantage during the game? No, they do not impact the gameplay at all. How do you get glory points? You can get glory points by farming trophies with your heroes and then with that your glory level is gonna increase and every time you reach a new glory level you're gonna get some glory points. In addition to that you're gonna get a rank settlement glory point bonus for all of the heroes which are above 500 trophies. What is the maximum glory level? At the moment it's 35. Suddenly I lost trophies and I don't know why. Approximately every 30 days there's a trophy rank settlement and your trophies are going to be somewhat lowered. The amount of trophy reduction depends on your hero's trophy level. I may not have time to play today. What happens to my tasks? You will lose the chance to complete the daily tasks but the seasonal ones can be completed until the end of the season. What is the game mode coin rush? It's a regular event and by playing that game mode you can get 400 T coins for free. You will need to play 4 or 5 games to collect all of them. Does the top up bonus event reset? No, most likely not. It may be extended over time with some additional rewards, but as far as I know it's not gonna be reset. How do I get rewards from the battle pass? There are two tiers, the free and the premium, and even without buying the premium pass, by playing the game and collecting battle points, 
you are going to unlock rewards. What happens if I complete the whole battle pass and keep playing? Beyond level 70, you're gonna get a big rumble box for each 500 battle points you collect. You can actually save these because you can anytime go back and open the rewards from your previous season. How can I get T-Gems? Well, you can get some from the free battle pass and sometimes official creators are doing giveaways. Other than that, unfortunately need to purchase T-Gems in the store. I would recommend going for the value bundles because you can save a lot of money. Who are the official T3 Arena content creators? They are YouTubers and Twitch streamers who help the T3 Arena team to make the game more popular. And if you wonder if it's worth subscribing to their channels, yes, absolutely, but please start with mine. Thanks. My connection is stable, but sometimes I'm still having high ping. Why? To shorten queue times, cross-server matchmaking has been introduced, which means that in some cases you are being transferred to another server. And that is what causes the higher ping. What is the challenger bonus? If you're facing opponents who have higher trophy levels compared to the trophy levels of your team, you are getting an extra trophy bonus if you can beat them. Or if you lose, but you are the SVP, you're also going to get a challenger bonus. Why is there a cooldown on payload race or control game modes? The rotation of these two game modes has been introduced to reduce the queue times. Because the less options players have to queue up to, the faster you can find a team. Why are maps randomly selected? It's pretty much the same as the previous one, it's because of the queue times. In the early phase of the game you could decide which map to play on, but it has been changed to speed up matchmaking. What's the difference between casual and advanced game modes? In the advanced game mode you will see the map first and you can adjust your hero choice depending on the map and also depending on the choice of your teammates. Be aware that in these game modes you may face stronger opponents because in casual game modes you will face enemies according to your selected hero's trophy level. In the payload escort game mode, why can't I decide if I want to be attacker or defender? Before season 3 kicked in we had to play on both sides but the community felt that it's just taking too long and therefore it has been changed to one match only. The side is selected randomly. I feel like playing against bots, why? Approximately below 200 trophies you're gonna get mainly bots but as you improve with that hero you're gonna see more and more players. To give you an example from a higher trophy level, if you are between 500 and 1000 and you're queuing up for free for all, then most likely out of these 6 heroes or players, there are gonna be 4 actual players and 2 bots. But now that the game is available on Google Play, we're gonna see less and less bots. How do I differentiate players from bots? On the loading screen, bots are on the right hand side and they usually don't have frames and also you can identify them based on their names. OMG, my teammate is a bot, is that a disadvantage? Generally speaking, yes, but there are different bot levels in the game, so sometimes they are surprisingly good in aiming. I heard there will be a ranked game mode, is that true? Yes, absolutely, it's currently being tested on the beta server and it's gonna be introduced shortly and thereby we're gonna have not just a new game mode but also a lot of new rewards to collect. Is auto fire good or bad? There is no simple answer to that. I would recommend trying both. On higher levels, there are more players without auto fire because you can control whether you want to shoot or not. But at the same time, it comes with a bit of a disadvantage because if you have auto fire on, you're going to be doing some impossible shots which you couldn't be doing without it. Be aware that shields like ruby shield or forts will trigger auto fire automatically. Can I adjust my settings per hero? Yes, you can. You can adjust sensitivity, assistive options, and even your layout per hero. Although I wouldn't recommend changing your layout per hero, but maybe it's just my you know, personal preference. Is there a way to voice chat with teammates? Yes, you can use the in-game voice. However, Discord and other apps may have a slightly better audio quality. What does local leaderboard mean? It is the leaderboard of the country you have selected as your location in the options. 
I want to check my performance of recently played games. Can I do that? Yes, tap on your profile and check match history. You can see all the stats including damage and so on. And you can also watch the full replay spectating any of the heroes who were present in the game. What are clubs good for? For now it's mainly to have a team and thereby players to play with but you can also find party members by having a decent friend list. Later there may be club rewards or club tournaments but it hasn't been introduced yet. Can I play private games? Yes, there is an option to create lobbies, open or private ones on the game mode selection screen. What are player cards? It's basically the frame that will appear on the loading screen. It's just cosmetics, but players with rare frames usually are stronger opponents. How do I get player cards? Some of them can be acquired from different type of events, but you can also get some from the lucky draw skin, because all of the skins have their unique frames. What does KO Fizz stand for? It's the animation effect you're gonna see on your screen after killing an enemy. I would recommend you to go for a simple one because it's actually disturbing if it pops up all the time uh, you kill an enemy. What's a holo poster? It's an emote you can use during the game via the quick chat. Unfortunately at this point we are limited to one holo poster only. I don't like my nickname, is there a way to change it? Yes, the first change is free, but beyond that it will cost you 60 T-gems every time you wanna change your nickname. Can I bin my account to ensure I don't lose it? Yes, absolutely, I would highly recommend doing it. You can bin your account with TapTap, Facebook, Apple and Google at this point. I would start with a TapTap account and once that is connected, then I would do the connection to Facebook, Apple and Google. How can I get redeem codes? During live streams like announcements or tournaments, sometimes codes are being shared which you can redeem for a limited time and you get a small present or gift like a rumble box. I don't want others to see my stats, is that possible? Yes, you can hide them in the options, account and privacy settings. I have an issue, what should I do? First, use the account slash help center within the app to open tickets. The support team will reply pretty quickly. I found the bug, what should I do? So instead spamming all the chats and Reddit, I would ask you to open Discord and use the dedicated bug reports channel as that will directly end up in the bug backlog. There you go guys, so we tackled 50 questions and have 50 answers and I really hope I could share something you didn't know already. And now let's get back to the giveaway. Yeah, I'm giving away 165 T-Gems again and this time there are gonna be three steps to participate, okay? Please subscribe to my channel, that's gonna be the first step, okay? I'm just gonna wait for a moment until you do it. Okay. Second point, so this video is mainly for newcomers and I wanna make sure it spreads. So I'm going to ask for your support. I want you to help me with spreading the video by sharing it on a social media account of yours. It can be Facebook, Instagram, whatever you use is gonna be fine. Or you can talk about it uh, on Discord or somewhere else. And last step, I want you to leave a comment below this video and let me know where you did share the video slash event, okay? So let's support all the newcomers. Again, three steps, subscribe, share it on your social media and leave a comment on where you did share. That's it. On the 5th of November, I'm gonna close the event. All of you are gonna have one chance. I'm gonna use your YouTube username and put that into that fancy spinning wheel and I'm gonna randomly select the winner, okay? Thank you for taking the time to watch the whole video. Uh, good luck with the event and see you next time. Bye. Woo!